Hi guys, I'm Naga Chan and welcome to my reaction for Psychopaths episode 17. Well, we have few episodes left and things are some kind of way looking good, some kind of way looking bad. <laughs> it depends. I mean, they managed to catch Makishima, but well, a lot of things happened also, like those riots, which are not making things easy. And the helmets, but now I guess it's the end of it because Makishima is caught, so they will be able to do something about that. But both that hacker and one of the enforcers went inside of the core of the civil system and they saw the truth, but apparently... You're not supposed to see it, well, duh, but no matter who you are, it's just a death sentence because the boss of the, the police, or how they are called, appeared and killed them both. Also, it seemed like she's either robot or cyborg, or I don't really know what the hell she is. Creepy as heck, though. So... Yeah, that, like, if this is the core of your system, and you are even killing your own people, you know, um, it really doesn't pay a nice picture about your whole freaking system. I'm still very against it, but I don't know, like, what they're going to do in these last few episodes. I just have no idea. <laughs> like, it's it's kinda sad that Bo died, like the kiddo, I don't really know his name, and the hacker. But I wasn't that much attached to them. It's just what I mostly don't, I mean, it's just that I don't really like the fact that they were killed because of whatever kind of fishy reasons. That's mostly it. Yeah, so like what the others will be doing right now, right? Huh. I mean, they know that there is a place underneath it, I guess, because he was talking with the doctor chick. Something like there is some place below that or whatever. And he went in there, but then the uh, signal was cut. So she didn't know what is happening. I just... I don't really like it. <laughs> what the hell are you trying to hide? If there is something you're hiding... Like this, it's probably not a good thing. You know? <laughs> well, I should probably just play the episode and see for myself. Oh boy, yeah. Okay. Distraction still. But I guess now they, they're still trying to apprehend the situation. The music playing though. Yeah, all the people they caught. All the riots, all the horrible things, yeah. Doesn't feel like. Oh. Is that the dude, his name? I don't remember. What was that weird look? Um, he is dead dead, like probably his head blown. So no running away. <laughs> That's his name, Kakari? I don't really remember. Yeah, like... I have a problem with memory, but if the characters are well done, I will usually remember them sooner or later. So the fact that I kind of don't even remember his name, uh, yeah. Sad. Because I remember, like, other characters' names because it's been paying attention to them, at least. <sighs> Nothing card in stone. I haven't been reading the things on the screen, actually. Like the text and this kind of thing. 
professionals of this opening are amazing though. Yeah. The visuals are so cool. I like the colorful, different colored gradient and the shadows. It's pretty cool. I love the shadows, use of shadows like this. Like big black chunk of blackness. <laughs> I love it because of housing, I think was the first thing I ever seen it used in. Okay. True. You weren't able to save anyone. Oh, um, that's what police do. Mm hmm. It is. Sybil is not perfect, neither extremely safe, <laughs> given the fact what happened. Hmm. I don't really feel safe in this kind of world. Mm, probably. People are very good at uh, not looking through it right into the eyes. Nothing happened. I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, people are very good at that. I'm not really surprised, this whole situation. Yeah, I mean, he does some things. Nice conversation here. Do you want to go there too? Good question. I'm not really sure if that is a good thing to look into, <laughs> given what happened, but naturally makes sense. Yeah, um... Your system kinda sucks. Damn, why? You should still have these skin kind of things backing something. If something happened, you wouldn't have a like loss for this kind of weird special cases. Like you should still have them. Yeah, it doesn't sound suspicious at all, right? I don't trust you, lady. Hmm. No, they don't want you to because whatever. Mm, they want to research him. This is not your business anymore. Don't care about it. You have more work to do. No, he is not missing, lady. I don't like him. I don't like what are doing. She doing. And she's pushing him. Like, stop talking shit. This is not you are supposed to be worrying about. Just do whatever I say. Oh my god. 
He can do anything. Yeah, he can do anything. He want to, but he can't. Well, don't you think he tried? He tried. He tried. Good question. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, what are I going to do with him? It's been a while, what do you mean? Who the hell are you? So you do know him. Uh, okay. So he knows her? Oh. Oh. So he's cyborg? Would make sense. So he's now the boss? What the fuck? Um, and uh, no. Kinda ish. Yeah. I mean, this is good because you're fooling a lot of people. They would never expect you to be a chick. Yeah. Yeah, is now head of the public safety bureau. That's just weird and creepy. What the hell are you doing, guys? Wow. Oh. This is weird. Okay, so there are more people in that body, I guess, going into that body, creepy. Yeah, if people would know this, <laughs> that would definitely not be good. So, uh, okay, wait a minute, I need to go back. Tied a little bit. Everyday work. So, like, people? More people? How many people are there? One, two, more? Yeah, I don't know how many people is he talking about. Yeah, so I'm not really surprised. Like I said, uh, I've literally seen works like this before. I know it every part. I'm not really surprised it would be people deciding that, doing something. I don't know. I don't understand how exactly it works. He has been killed. No, killed dead, his brain on the floor. Yeah, exactly. Hmm.
Yeah, someone is just drawing fake. No. It's just fake evidence. Yeah, I'm glad that you are clever. Because this feels very suspicious. I'm glad they're very clever. Yeah, he did. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it's just brains of the people. Uh, I mean... Plus the computers, because they're still, I guess, human brains. Human brains are... That's creepy. That's, just, that's so creepy, just human brains. Yeah, human brains are very, very fast. Well, I'm I'm not really liking that, so thank you, no. Yeah. Wow. God damn. I mean, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, it's human brain. They're using it. Are you creepy lady? Man, I don't know. What are, what, what are you? But we are still. It's not just machines. They need human brain. <laughs> I don't trust you. Oh, if you think so, okay then. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess people like Makishima, which doesn't have much of empathy. Mm. Well, but they are very dangerous, and these people are the brains in the system. Some of them. Uh. Yeah, because they are using him. I mean, I guess he he's glad that he some, has something to do. Yeah, uh, this doesn't sound creepy and uh, like God complex. <laughs> yeah. I don't really like you. You sound very God complexy. Oh, so he's trying to offer him the same thing, I guess. Mm. 
But what kind of freedom do you have now, dude? Yeah, just brain in a jar. I think you know. I mean, it's true, there is definitely a lot of pros in his thinking about. I don't know, Makishima doesn't seem to be a person like that. Yeah. Well, seems like it did not to you, but still, you're just brain in a jar. And you have no freedom. That sounds like ten times more more creepy than anything else. <laughs> Which exactly? Oh, something totally effed up, right? <laughs> How lovely! He doesn't buy your fucking shit. Well, of course she would try. <laughs> Makashima is like, I don't want any of this bullshit. Get away from me. For real. Makashima is way clever than this. Yeah, you are very talkative, man. Good. No! We don't give a shit about that. Yeah, you have a god complex, sir. Yeah, from Makashiva, that wouldn't be satisfying. Life. He seemed to die, love it. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to do his own shit. Not being some kind of weird shit brain in the jar somewhere. Damn, he's really destroying it. Huh? 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 He is giving you a nice lesson. So they are in this helicopter, or whatever it is. Plane. Well, I was feeling like this is too soon to catch him. Very too soon. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. This feels like a little bit different ending. Now it's the same. Okay. I'm going to look if there is... Seems like there might be something after the credits. Okay. So yeah, we got Kagame just lying and thinking, I guess. 
It's not done yet. It's not over yet, man. <laughs> Chill, man. <laughs> Chill, man. Yeah, he just can't stop thinking about him. <laughs> well, he found about you, man. True. That's so sweet, Makishima. It surely is not war. Okay, but... Hmm, yeah, he got out. He got out and sent you a nice little message. It's not worth it. Like, this is just so weird. The dude who is in bars, but apparently there are more people kind of switching between them. Just was so god complexy, like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's enjoying that. I don't really know if I would trust someone like that being part of that system, like, for real. I mean, I guess that there is some safety measures, but still. Like, yeah, human brain is... we still can't. Like, we still don't know many things about a human brain. And it's... human brain is so freaking complicated, and all the things which happens in it happen so fucking fast. Like... Jesus Christ, we, we can still... Like... make it. Artificially. Because it's so complicated. And like, yeah, you can say computers can do things maybe faster or just in a better way, but like... It's not actually completely the true... Because... We humans are learning. Computers are just taking things in. And they are basing what they are doing just based on like, these things they took in. They're not learning. So, <laughs> that's a th th that's a huge thing. Because... Yeah, it kind of makes sense that it would be very helpful to have, like, human brain, human perspective help. Because they probably would not be able to... Like by their computers, even though it's in future, to kind of simulate uh, how human brain works. They probably would not be able to do that. Because we still can do that. We can still simulate human brain. That's why AI does not exist. I mean, we have, like, robots, but it's still not AI. <laughs> like, any kind of, you know, um, complicated AI. Only thing they can do is go through, I don't know, route and take pictures and then they will be go, they will be able to go through the same route again because they took pictures so they kinda know like, okay, this is the place I should avoid this and that because they have like cameras and such. But like, they're not able to learn anything beyond that. It's just because they were able to make pictures of the area and they have like, it, it's not even learning because they have, like, programs what they should do if they see the, I don't know, wall or, or what they should do if they see some kind of differences in a terrain. They're not learning, it's just all programs installing them so they would do what they are supposed to do. <laughs> there is nothing beyond that. Like, nothing at all. So... Yeah. Yeah, human brain is extremely complicated. But still, like, using it this way is, um... Yeah, no, not very cool. And I'm not really even surprised that Makishima really wasn't for... 
being part of the civil system because he doesn't strike me like kind of person who would do that. He definitely enjoys to be part of a life, not like someone sitting in a bag and controlling shit. I mean, he enjoys control, but he still wants to be like inside uh, whatever he's controlling, not just sitting somewhere far, far away and kind of just like basically not having anything to do. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> he just, like I said, he wants to be part of the game. He wants to have some kind of control and messing things around and these kind of things, but he still wants to play the freaking game. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's not really surprising. I don't know, like... Will they be able to do something about the system? Who is, like, organizing this whole shit? The government? They probably won't be very happy about the fact that this chick died. Died, I mean, it's a cyborg, but maybe he was able to kill him because his consciousness was inside of the cyborg brain. Inside, I don't know how it works, so don't ask me. Inside of it. So maybe he got killed. Well, good for you, you deserve that. But it's very questionable, and um, now I understand why people won't like it. Yep, especially if we have some creepy, crazy fucking criminals inside of that system. Who sounds like they are kind of... Yeah, not very sound in mind. <laughs> yep. Yep, exactly that. But I don't really know, like, if someone, anyone would be able to do something about the system. Only if that video will go out, but... Yeah, I don't know if Makishima would be able to do something about that. That would be very hard. But I hope at least some of the people and forcers will know, or the the police, like Akane, they would know what the hell this system is about, at least. They deserve to know, at least. Them deserve, you know. But I still don't like it. I still don't like it at all. Please go away from me. This is creepy as heck. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this was interesting episode. We got um, answer, but it really did not surprise me. Like I, like I said, this is, I mean, it's not exactly minority report, but it's kind of similar-ish to it. And kind of similar -ish to other things I've read or seen. So it really does not surprise me at all. And given the fact that I guess it's trying for the shocking value or wow value, I don't really have it here. Like I said, like it's surely interesting, this anime. But the fact that... I mean, it could still have been interesting, even though if I would, like, guess the kind of premise, it's still kind of very creepy and a little bit different than Minority Report, but it's very similar-ish, so it does not surprise me at all. It could still be done in a way better way, but I'm like, okay then, what will happen now? I'm just not that, like, surprised or engaged that much into it. Because we are not getting anything about a normal citizen living in, so I don't feel anything horrible about the citizens or what kind of, like, what it will ha be for them. So this is completely thrown out of the window. Like, what does this matter for normal civilians? Like, we had a little bit of civilians doing like these riots but like that's basically it and we even there even wasn't anyone like we would care about so yeah this is not important then we have like these characters but there is not too much to them so we don't care much about them so i don't really care much about most of them even like that kid who died i'm like oh well, okay then and I just wish there would be more emotions behind it because this is like fucked up shit. 
So if you put like more human nature in it, like more human emotions, but this is just like between a few characters like Makishima and Kagami and Akane, Ginoza, and just like all about just these few characters and the balls. The whole problem I think just feels like it's supposed to be on a bigger scale. If you know what I mean. It's not blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've seen similar things which I enjoyed more, so I guess that's that. <laughs> I do really wish there would be more about a normal civil end, so we got like more uh, normal outlook on this situation. Then it would probably feel more feel more personal. And if there would be more nuances, I guess it would be more engaging. Well, I'm going to give this episode 7 out of a 10. And um, we'll see what will be happening now. Makishima escaped. He still can cause some chaos. That's totally possible. And like where this whole situation will lead to. Will they be able to do something or nothing? Will more people die or not? I have no idea. Well, I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.